What did they do to you? Welcome to the STG-44. Hello, I'm Mr. Elm, and today we're going to be taking a look at the STG-44 in Modern Warfare Zombies. Unlock that Sector 7 in the Season 5 Battle Pass, or extracting with it in MWZ, the STG-44 is a Modern Warfare 3 full-auto German assault rifle that comes with a fire rate of 600 RPM. It comes with 30 rounds in the mag and 90 in reserve, and goes up to a maximum capacity of 240 rounds in reserve. The reload speeds on the STG are not too bad, clocking in at 2.5 seconds when loaded, and 3.5 seconds when unloaded. These are good, however, it's a blessing and a curse because the 30 round mag will go by pretty quick, causing you to reload often, which can be very inconvenient on occasions. The STG's irons are, for lack of a better word, unappealing. Visual recoil, thankfully, isn't an issue on the STG, but it's just more so how tacky it looks. It's something I can deal with at long range, but not short range. Thankfully, tack stance, like always, is pretty darn good on the STG for close quarters engagement against zombies. The tack stand spread is solid and can make for some pretty solid kills against zombies in close quarters. Also, quick side note, why the hell does a gun look like modern tactical dog shit? When it comes to the regular hordes of the undead, the STG is pretty solid. The gun can kill zombies and special enemies very well in the low threat zone, and it's pretty damn fun. At blue rarity, the gun can take down enemies without issue, but you got one teeny tiny problem, however. The 30 round mag on the STG holds it back immensely. You'll be trying to kill a Mangler or a Disciple, and just as you're about to get the killing blow on them, BAM! You gotta reload, causing the Manglers, Disciples, or Mimics to get the upper hand on you, which is bad. Seriously, the 30 round mag holds the STG back from true potential, which is why I resort to Pack Punch, as Pack Punching Guns is a way to get more ammo. Speaking of which, when you put the STG-44 into Pack Punch, you get the... Timeless? Wait, what about the Spats 447? Wow, thanks Sledgehammer. First you fuck up the look of the STG to make it look more modern and ugly, and now you didn't even give it the correct pack punch name. Holy God, what are you this showing me? His head. Come on! Open your eyes! Seriously, it's the Spats 447 in Vanguard! Come on! The Spats 447 is just an extension of the base version. You get a 60 round mag with 360 rounds in reserve, and you now come with stronger shots against the zombies and the special and elite enemies. The Spats 447 is pretty alright. As Trouble Packed and Legendary, it's a 3 or 4 shot kill in Tier 3 and the regular Dark Aether, which is still pretty damn good. Despite the nice improvements to the gun damage-wise, the gun desperately needs some attachments to make it even better. And before we go to the attachments, I'm gonna give a fair warning. Normally, I like to preserve the look of most weapons, but the SCG is gonna be the exception because it doesn't look like its awesome wooden World War II counterpart. So with that, let's move on to the attachments. For your first attachment, without hesitation, equip the Nadar Model 2023 Optic for a cleaner sight on the STG-44. For your muzzle, equip the Jack BFB muzzle to remove the gun's vertical and horizontal recoil control, and to make the recoil much better to control. For your rear grip, equip the Demo 650 grip for better tack stand spread, better aim walking speed, and improved movement speed. For your mag, equip the 50 round mag on the STG, so the gun can now come to 300 rounds in reserve on the base version, and when packed punched, it can now come with a 100 round mag and 450 rounds in reserve. And lastly, for the underbarrel, equip the Jack Limb Ripper Underbarrel Chainsaw for killing zombies up close and personal, and to help you save more ammo. These attachments take all the issues I have with the STG and throws them out the window, making the STG with these five attachments an amazing zombies killing weapon. Oh, and the Limb Ripper is a great tool at killing the zombies that are up close to you. Seriously, the Jack Limb Ripper Chainsaw is overpowered beyond belief. At the end of the day, the STG and MWZ is a pretty solid assault rifle. The gun does really good damage against the undead, has a great ammo reserve, for the most part, and is just a good weapon all around. When pack punched, the Spats 447 will give you more ammo and stronger shots to deal against zombies across all three zones, and will help you take down a special and elite enemies much more fluently. As when triple packed and legendary, it's going to be a 3 to 4 shot kill in a regular Dark Aether and Tier 3. Despite my issues with how the STG looks in this game, the gun is admittedly a ton of fun to use. Honestly, with the right attachments, it makes the STG a great gun to use on all fronts. Give the STG a go if you haven't already. This has been Mr. L. Thank you guys for watching, and join me next time where I'll be covering the MCW, or as I call it, the ACR. 
Until then, this is Mr. L, checking out.